All right. Um, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, today's um, tutorial will be handling line sizing with Aspen Heises. You understand that before you transport your fluid through a pipeline or a piping system, it is necessary that you size your line to know the internal diameter of the pipeline or the, pi or the piping system that is required to transport your fluid. So how do you do this with Aspen Heises? That is exactly what we want to check right now. So uh, we're going to be adding some components. We have taught you how to do that earlier on. So we'll have to add some components. Also add select a fluid package for this particular simulation. So we have um, CO2. We have CO2. Okay. Uh, we also have have methane to propane then I have water so we'll just be using this um, we'll be using these components okay uh, fit package just select the Robinson uh, you should know the reason why I'm doing that if you don't then go back to my video on how to select the appropriate fit package for your simulation okay you'll be able to learn how to do that so the Robinson and um, we're ready to go to the simulation environment okay so what we want to do is that we want to find out the appropriate fluid package sorry we want to find out the internal diameter for the pipeline that we can use to transport this particular fluid okay so this is what we want to do we have um, stream at point A uh, with a pressure of 60 bar and we're expecting an arrival pressure of about 50, 58 bar all right through a four kilometer pipeline now if you check this you see that the the pressure difference or the pressure drop between point A and point B is 2 bar that's 60 minus 58 all right so you must know the arrival pressure you must also know the um, uh, the entire length of the pipeline that you will likely or you're likely going to use all right so the difference between the um, pressure at point a and the arrival pressure is two bar so we will also like to know the pressure drop per kilometer or per meter as the case maybe it all depends on what you want to use so at this point um, we have four kilometer pipeline the difference is 2 bar, so 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5, so we have 0 0.5 bar pressure drop per kilometer. So for every kilometer, the pressure drop is 0 0.5 bar, alright? So this is exactly what we want to do. Alright, so we have to add our stream. Alright, so let's define the stream. We already have the composition. So uh, for CO2, CO2 is 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Zero point zero one, uh, methane zero point eight, zero point eight zero. We we'll have a zero point one, zero point one. I'm so sorry about the noise at the background. I'll try and see how I can work on that. But please, for the meantime, we just have to uh, manage it this way. Uh, just try and get the value from. Um, the video because that's the major thing all right so we have our composition remember we what we have here what is it uh, excuse me okay so we have 60 bar remember 60 bar 60 bar right so here we have let's say 25 degrees Celsius okay uh flow rate let's say we're using sorry i need to change this to si units uh si this is something okay so let's see zero si i think i'm okay with this all right so for this we have um let's say 1500 kilogram more per hour all right of fluid so we want to know the um, size of the pipeline that we can use to transport this particular fluid from point a through a four kilometer 
um, line all right so what we need to do now is to go to attachments click on analysis click on create and um, select line sizing manager click on add all right just follow the process now we see line sizing see calculation type design so type of material so here based on the type of field you're transporting you know the kind of material that you might need to use so for this we have to use carbon steel the schedule of pipeline you have to select the schedule based on the pressure rating of um, your system all right so for now we are dealing with about 60 bars so i think we can go with schedule 80 all right and go with schedule 80 all right so now what is the you come back to pipe length so what we have is four kilometers four kilometers all right i think that's all then we come over to settings remember let's go back to this about uh, as you can see our uh, pressure drop per kilometer is 0.5 bar so we come back to this environment uh okay click on settings that from sizing you go to settings mass on pressure gradient kilometer per meter so what kilopascal per meter so what we'll do here is we type 0 0.5 then select our unit which is bar per kilometer so as you can see this is solved we go back to sizing so what if you look at this properly you see that the nominal diameter that will be needed will be about uh 250 millimeters uh the inside diameter is about 242.9 that's 9.5 approximately that's 10 inch pipeline that's actually what you will need and you need a, a pipe wall thickness of about 15.09 millimeters so you see the size and the thickness of the pipeline has already been calculated for you and also um the velocity all right so for velocity we have uh, about 9.68 feet per second all right so it will also help you to check the velocity of the fluid to know if you have unnecessary noise in the pipeline or um, in the course of operation of the pipeline so with this you have been able to appropriately size your line you know the nominal diameter the uh, that's the um, outer diameter you also know the internal diameter you know the pipe thickness you know the velocity of the fluid and um, you see uh, you check the criteria is the criteria for this size in met as you can see it's met now the flow regime is a stratified flow so it shows you a lot of information that you or you will have to um, or you will need all right to populate your your data sheet all right and that's that's all for this tutorial I hope you've been able to get value for this please do well to refer your friends to this um, YouTube channel do well to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well and um, uh, thank you very much for always coming back to check out some new videos and I promise to keep updating new content um, I'm quite free this period all right thank you very much thank you thank you once again